Hey guys, so welcome to my channel, and if you are new, hi, my name is Sharon. I love to do cleaning motivational videos for you guys, and I love to do organization videos and house update videos, um, like little projects that I love to do around the house. Um, you will definitely see a whole bunch of those kind of videos on this channel, and if you guys like that kind of stuff, like those kind of videos then please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get all the updated videos that I do put out there So guys, there was this little corner that I keep all of our bread products and drinks and stuff and this accumulates like a lot of crumbs and I feel like this little nook gets a little bit neglected sometimes so I actually really wanted to go in and thoroughly clean this area and just remove everything and just wipe it down really well. So right now guys I'm going to take out my stove top cleaner and literally scrape my stove. It was so bad for the holidays. We had Christmas and then we had new a New Year's Eve party. Yeah this stove top needed some definite TLC. It just was so bad you guys. I had to consistently just keep spraying it and even just let it sit there for like 20 minutes. Um, just let that project just just let that product just sit on there and do the work that it needs to do because it was just so much built up burnt food. So guys, this stove top was so bad, I even had to go in with a magic eraser because it was so badly burnt on there by food that this was another area that I neglected for quite some time. You'll see here in a second how dirty <laughs> and burnt on food this was. Yeah. <laughs> real life guys <laughs> now I try to get as much as I could on my stove of course there was still a couple spots I missed but this will have to do for now I have so much more on my list that I had to do but I did go in the very next day and made sure that it was squeaky clean
so this is definitely a mess that I wanted to conquer uh, not as much of really organizing it like with pretty fancy bins or anything like that or containers it was just really about just straightening it up so I can really find things when I need to um, and I kind of wanted to throw away, throw away anything that was kind of like out of date so I can see things a lot better but maybe in the future I will probably get some clear bins and get some things so it just looks more nicer and more organized but that's definitely in the future you guys will probably be seeing that in the upcoming videos So it's not the nicest looking, but I know where everything is. So that's what matters, guys. <laughs> okay, so it is a lot later at night. I had to do dinner and, you know, give the boys a bath and get them to bed. And that was like, man, getting my boys to go to bed is not easy. So it was like another two or three hours before I could come back downstairs and really do this steam cleaning I definitely have to do it when the boys are put to bed because I don't want them walking around and getting the chemicals on their feet and I wanted this to have time to drive dry overnight so everything would be dry the next morning uh, I definitely had to go over this rug several times I know you guys see me going really fast but this is me speeding it up speeding the video up just for the sake of the video because then you guys would be sitting here for like two hours just me going you know just sitting there for two hours just watching me do this and uh nobody has time for that so <laughs> um i was actually going extremely slow um but yeah there was some pretty bad spots on my white rug so I had to definitely take my time and get some spots out and make sure I did a really thorough job.
I would say that I probably steam back all my rugs and my carpet in the living room and in the toy room um I would say at least every two months or three months um when I just start seeing it get a little bit dirty I would say I do my rugs probably way more than I do the regular carpet more frequently because I notice it's a white rug so yeah it's a high traffic area where my white rug is so I definitely say I do that one the most. If you guys like these kind of videos definitely give me a thumbs up to let me know if you guys are enjoying this if you guys have any other suggestions on what you guys really enjoy seeing please throw them in the comments below So this is where my son decided to take a marker. Thank goodness it was like a washable marker, but he decided to draw all over my carpet, but it came out like it wasn't even there. Thank goodness. <laughs> Look how dirty that water is. Yikes. So embarrassing, but hey guys, it's just real life, <laughs> but at least it shows to me, it's so satisfying doing this just because I know that, you know, my kids drop food on this floor, like goldfish, and they pick, pick it back up and put it back in their mouth. And it's just, ugh, drives me nuts. But at least I know it's really clean. And uh, my kids play on this carpet. You know, they pick food off the carpet and they roll around. They have tantrums on this carpet. I mean, it's just satisfying as a mom knowing that it's clean and I don't have to worry about them getting sick or anything on this carpet because I know that it's you know it's sanitized as much as possible and cleaned as much as possible but looking at that dirty water guys yeah it makes me feel like I should do it even more often than I said that I do <laughs> I wonder like how often can you do that how, like is it bad for the fibers to do it more often i just don't know if you guys do know how often that you guys can like steam back your carpets like let me know down below i'd love to know
Anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And hit that like button if you really enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.